I'm your host, Demetrius AJ. Whenever I'm done having a tremendous day working out and I need to get a deep sleep, I go to ZMA. And what this does is put you in a deep sleep, relaxation, and it's going to give you fast recovery at night. Thank you, Lord. His opponent, two-time world boxing champion, has shared the ring with some of the best fighters in his era. One of the best pure boxers to enter the game, he has also appeared on Showtime as a boxing analyst. From Brooklyn, New York, folks, it's the magic man, Wally Malinas. So, so far everybody's been you know, short on words, but keeping it pretty simple. I'm never the type to be short on words. Um, thank, everybody, thank, uh, thank everybody for uh, being here, uh, especially Dave Feldman for uh, setting all this up. My team, you know, uh, we had a great team around me, uh, Ante Canzaro, Josh Dubin, uh, shout out to Steve Fesh, uh, Al Heyman, and everybody involved with me. Pete Sparazzo has known me from the start of my career, my trainer, Sherry Unit. Chris Gilmore, my brother, Roberto, and so on and so forth. Um, I don't know, let's see where I'm going to start. There's this really probably not enough time for me to get into everything here. Oh, um, fucking no, that. Shut uh, up. Let's start with that. <laughs> um, going two days, let's, guys, because that kind uh, of. Let's, uh, let's start with the first one. Since, well, since Artem is very talkative That's now, right. when you have the Mikey Willis so talkative. Buddy, you've been asked this question before. Why do you eat slaps? Why? <laughs> why do you allow men to slap you like why that? The fuck do why, you, why, why do you slap Don't make threats. I already slapped your ass after threatening you. Don't make threats. Don't make threats. Don't worry. There's a reason we can't be next to each other right now. Don't worry. There's a reason we can't be next to each other right now. Right, I'm gonna make you brand new. Don't worry, I'm gonna give you. A, I'm gonna make you brand new next month. Don't you worry. We're gonna, we're gonna package you nicely. We're gonna put. We're gonna package you nicely. First of all, next month with this bare knuckle stuff. I know I've never been the, the big puncher and, and whatnot. This is. Uh, but as I train, I realize my hands are uh, like freaking like like razor blades. No, no doubt. First of all, look at this guy's face. Get a good look at get a good look at this guy's face right now. The way it looks right now, because next next month I'm gonna make it look like a, a road map. Back in the day, before we had a map quest, and before, before we had ways and everything, we had road maps. We used to pull them out and they had a bunch of lines all over them. I'm gonna make this guy's face look like a road map next month, permanently, because his scars are gonna not go away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buddy, I'm good looking. I'm always good looking. Okay, you understand that? Okay, you and Connor got your beards on. You got your ugly fucking mugs. Okay, you got your, your ugly. I know, buddy. I know. Keep, 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 keep talking. You had the mic a second ago. Where, where was all this talk? Where was all this talk? Where was all this talk? Let's, let's move on to the next subject matter, okay? How about this one? Let's move on to the next subject matter. So the next subject matter is this. I wasn't made for this, right? I wasn't made for this bare knuckle stuff. Uh, one thing about my career, I've always been known as one of the toughest guys in boxing, okay? One of the toughest guys in boxing, besides winning two world titles. This guy here was known as a punching bag with a loud mouth. Was was uh, was, go, was known as the guy who just trained with Conor McGregor. What what what, what is this guy's accomplishments? First of all, all the media here it's Paulie Malignaggi versus Artem Lobov, not the other way around. So I know you all you ever made jerk offs in, in, in the media like to use his name first, but he, like he's some kind of a name. Guys, outside of your circle, nobody knows who gives a fuck. Or no one gives a fuck about who this guy is. Okay, understand that. Okay, he doesn't have a look. He doesn't have the speaking ability, and most importantly, he doesn't have the fighting ability. Okay. Bottom line, when you become a name, your your bread and butter has to be that you are good at what you do first, and then you go out. Okay. This guy's this guy. Buddy, shut up. Shut up already. Shut up. You had the mic. You didn't say anything. Shut up. Come on, shut up. I know. So next, so first of all, so let, let's let's for the next month, let's promote this the right way. Poli Malinaji versus Artem Lobov. Okay, understand that. Okay? I know you guys get mad. You know, I know I know it's hard for you guys to understand that after two years of still not seeing a video that I smack the shit out of your biggest name in your sport, and I'm gonna smack the shit out of this guy. When you see what I do to this guy, you're gonna be like, fuck, this guy was for real. Let me tell you something. You know how I keep exposing lies in this whole story. I'm gonna expose you the next lie, and I'm gonna give Artem Lobov a little training tip for me for the next month, okay? The main thing about boxing, you guys always say, oh, you can't cover up with the gloves. You can't uh, turtle up with the gloves. Artem even said the only reason Paulie went 12 rounds, even if he was out of shape with Connor, was because he just kept covering up and turtling up with the gloves. My man, 
You cannot find a single highlight of me in my entire career where I defend that way. I do not defend, nor have I ever defended in that way. Boxers do sometimes defend that way. I never do. You know why? Because I don't appreciate getting hit. I, yeah, running around. I, know, I was in a side of shape that I had enough legs to run around. Shut up. Shut up, you bum. I smacked the shit out of him. If you would have chased me a little bit, maybe I could have ran around. The fucking bitch ass was standing right in front of me just talking shit. And then when I smacked him around, he stopped talking and doing that too. Shut up. No. And then you, you pussy. You, you, you know, you know something. Let me tell you something else, bro. Let me tell you something else. You pussy hypocrite fuck. As soon as the sparring ended, one of the first people that came up sucking my dick was this guy right here. It's all, bro, that was amazing. What a, what a great job. That was, him, Dana White, shut up. Fucking hypocrite pussy bum. Shut up. You bitch ass pussy bum. Let me tell you something, okay? Let me tell you something. I never lie because I don't have to fear anyone, okay? Quote from John Guy. I never lie because I have to fear anyone. You only lie when you're afraid, okay? Now put that together. Why is that side mine? Why is that side mine? You only lie when you're afraid. I don't have to fear anyone. I can tell you the truth and not give a fuck what you think and I've always been that way. I don't lie. I don't need to lie. Next month I'm going to put this guy in a fucking coma because that's what he deserves. He's a piece of shit. He's a piece of shit. Okay? You're a piece of shit, bro. You and all that whole crew where you came from, you're a piece of shit. And I'm going to treat you like a dirtbag that you are, bro. Because after I beat the fuck out of you, I'm going to spit on you. Okay? I'm going to spit on you. After I finish you, I'm going to I might take out my dick and piss on you, bro. I might actually do that. I'm gonna take out my dick and I'm not gonna keep out and I'm gonna piss in your in that toothless mouth and it's gonna be fucking pussy. Shut up. I'm done with this. We got five we got five weeks to live, motherfucker. Get yourself ready.